right, happy Wednesday, comic book fans. I know I'm a little later than normal, but it's been a long couple of weeks. I've been working every day since Thanksgiving. I'm normally supposed to have Wednesdays off so I can go to the shop, you know, uh, when they open. But uh, couldn't do that today, and uh, so that's why I'm late. Fortunately, it was a light week. And what did I get? Well, stick around, and I'll show you. And I am back. Boy, I have to tell you, it's been really interesting the last couple of days. Aside from working just like nonstop. Turns out on I think Saturday or Sunday of this week, somebody decided to try and turn my comic shop into a comic shop with a drive through and crash a car into the front. So, uh, we had to go into another exit, another entrance. We, meaning the customers, and uh, which made it kind of interesting. Damn, you know what? Why are you, you know, crashing a car into a comic shop to steal sports cars, cards? You know, whatever. Anyway, so four books this week. It is very, very light, which is fortunate because I still have a bunch of Christmas presents to get. So we're going to go from DC, Marvel, small press. And let's go. Okay, my first book for this week, Detective Comics number 1032. The regular cover. Normally... The people will pull uh, variant covers for me. They didn't, and I went to check the stacks, and they didn't seem to have any variant covers. So, oh well. I'll go with that. And for my last DC book, Batman Black and White, number one. This is a cool cover. You know, I'm not a big variant cover fan, but with the DCs and the Batman, I do sort of like the cardstock variants. And this was awesome. Okay, that's it for DC. I have no Marvel, I have no image. We're going to move on to Boom Studios which would be Seven Secrets Number 5 by Tom Taylor. This is a pretty good book. Um, I've enjoyed everything that I've read by Tom Taylor. I haven't read everything that he's done. But what I have, I've enjoyed, and this is one of them. Okay. Okay. And for my last book, it is a, a book that I saw on in the stacks. I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. It's Aftershock Comics. It is piecemeal. Number one, it's a one shot. Look at that right there. And it is by Colin Bunn. This guy does some good stuff. Couldn't find the cover on online, so that's why I'm holding it up. Uh, a little bit more expensive because it does seem to be, you know, oversized. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good. All right, so that's my pickups for this week. 
and uh, what am I going to get? What am I going to put on the bottom of the list for the one that I want to read the most? That would be Detective Comics. Love what uh, Tomasi is doing with Detectives. And cover of the week, piecemeal. I mean, that that's a damn cool cover. I don't know if that is a variant or not, but anyway, that's it. Let me know if you got what I got. Give me some suggestions in the comments below. And uh, like and subscribe. Enjoy your comics.